Hi, Phil Aston here from Nasbini Magazine. And I just felt I should say a few words about Nick Turner, who sadly passed away recently. Nick Turner is most known for his time within the band Hawkwind. I've covered Hawkwind on this channel quite a few times, actually. Um, I've reviewed several box sets. This one, um, recent one from Cherry Red, Dust of Time, which is fantastic. And this one, obviously, as well, which is This Is Your Captain Speaking. And of all the Hawkwind albums, um, this is probably my favourite, I guess. But Nick Turner was a very interesting guy, but but Hawkwind, a very interesting band. If you actually look about, you know, Calvert and Brock and Lemmy and Barney Bubbles and all those people and Pink Fairies, that, you know, that kind of area of London where this came together they were like nothing else and I felt that when I was young there was mainstream stuff you know the rock rock and pop purple sweet soul music reggae whatever 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 genre of music was going on there was also Hawkwind maybe with Pink Fairies tagged along somewhere alongside them but they they were different if you're a Hawkwind fan it didn't, if you said you were a, a Led Zeppelin fan or a, uh, a fan of The Temptations or something, people, oh, you're into soul or, oh, you're into rock music or whatever. Um, but if you said you're a Hawkins fan, that meant something different because you couldn't really pigeonhole Hawkins, space rock. But yeah, let's, let's call them space rock because if we call them space rock, then the next thing you do when you say that, if you say like heavy metal or soul, you automatically think of other bands in that genre but when you say space rock you think of Hawkwind and then you think of Hawkwind and then you think of Hawkwind and the people that sailed within it but I think that what my admiration for 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 Nick Turner is is the fact that he's instrumentation and also him as a person the other thing about um, Nick Turner was he was he was in Hawkwind for a certain period of time and he left because people thought he was playing over the top of them, etc. But he was a very spiritual person. And, you know, in my videos, I always say that music is the healer, it is the doctor. Um, Nick Turner was someone who really believed that. And and I find that really intriguing because it's something I've really, really been interested in myself. And in an interview I found from 2014, um, someone asked him, um, will Hawkwind ever die? And he said, my feeling is that everybody who has been touched by Hawkwind is Hawkwind. How cool is that? My feeling is that everybody who's ever been touched by Hawkwind is Hawkwind. All the fans of Hawkwind are the band. Um, they, are in, they are into the spirit of what the band was about. And that's very true. I mean, even when punk came along, whereas all the other bands were seen as dinosaurs, Hawkwind weren't. Hawkwind was still seen as cool, which is so amazing when they were like still in the 60s mentally and the way they dressed and their, you know, the hippie, you know, aspect. They were still there, but, you know, you know, whereas punk was for like kill a hippie or, you know, death to hippies, that Hawkwind didn't count. They were different. They were kind of dangerous. But space rock, not not like anything else. And one thing that Nick said um, that, again, I, I, I really resonated with, and um, the interviewer said, so is the music, has it a spiritual aspect to you? And Nick said, I think that music is a spiritual thing. I think it's a harmonising thing. You can touch people with it, with emotion, with your expression. It's exciting. And um, how did that manifest in what Nick felt? And Nick said, I have my own convictions about things. I'm a very spiritual person. I was brought up a Roman Catholic, but I'm not longer a Roman Catholic. I'm more likely to be a Buddhist because Buddhism acknowledges all religions, whereas none of the others do. I like music as a healing thing. I like to heal people if I can. I like everybody to be healthy and happy. And he did, of course, play his music in the pyramids in Egypt and he came back from that experience with the ability to actually touch people and heal them um, and so he was his music transcended just the commercial aspect I think even in his later days in his 80s he was still could be found busking in his in his hometown it, he, he just wanted to be out there with 
with music, sharing it. And again, there's this aspect of like music being used to heal. And I really, really understand that. So today I should be playing this warrior on the edge of time. What a great cover that is, isn't it? You know, I had a friend um, who had that painting on his bedroom wall. Took up the whole of the wall. It just looks absolutely superb. So thank you, Nick. And I want to dedicate this video to all of Nick's family, his, his children, his partner, and everyone, all Hawkwind fans everywhere, because I know with these videos, I'm talking about a human being beyond the albums that us fans own, you know, this is a very, very sad time for a lot of people. And I just want you to know that I understand that. And so take care, everyone who watches this video and take care to all of Nick's family and thank you for everything. And I'm thinking of you at this difficult time.